Time flies. Mastering adverbs of time and continuous tenses. Hello, learners. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of adverbs of time and continuous tenses. You might be wondering, why is this important? Well, adverbs of time allow us to specify when an action happens, and understanding how to use them with continuous tenses can significantly enhance your English communication skills. So, let's get started. Before we delve into how these adverbs work with continuous tenses, let's quickly recap what adverbs of time are. They are words that tell us when something happens. They answer the question, when. Examples include, now, then, yesterday, tomorrow, early, late, soon, today, and so forth. Continuous tenses in English are used to express actions that are happening at the time of speaking or at a specific time in the past or future. They're formed with the be verb and the ing form of the verb. We have three main continuous tenses, present continuous, past continuous, and future continuous. Adverbs of time work well with the present continuous tense to describe actions happening at this very moment. For instance, I am studying now, they are leaving soon. These sentences tell us exactly when these actions are happening. When we use adverbs of time with the past continuous tense, we're often describing actions that were happening at a specific moment in the past. Consider these examples. I was reading when the power went out. They were playing until sunset. Here, we know when these past actions were occurring. Adverbs of time can also be used with the future continuous tense to indicate actions that will be happening at a certain time in the future. Here are some examples. I will be working tomorrow. We will be traveling next week. In these sentences, the adverbs, tomorrow, and, next week, tell us exactly when these future actions will take place. Alright, learners, that's it for today's lesson on adverbs of time with continuous tenses. Remember, using these adverbs effectively can make your English more precise, helping you communicate your thoughts clearly. Keep practicing and using them in your daily conversations. We hope you found this video useful and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Happy learning!